guys, this is Feeding Frenzy 91 and I'm bringing you another how to off meta and today we're talking about Alistar Top. Now, Alistar is usually looked upon as a sup and that's basically it. But did you know Alistar can actually top pretty well? Now, to play Alistar Top though, you have to play him a bit differently. First things first, runes. You have to really play a more tanky fighter. Now these are just the runes I would go with. Now you can go with another set, but these are the definitely the ones that I would recommend. Items. For top Alistar to work, I've tried AP Alistar, I don't think it works, but AD Alistar actually can work quite well. And the only item I can say that is really, really necessary is Hullbreaker. And why? Because with the Mythic, you can pick so many Mythics for him. It could be like Divine Sunderer, Trinity Force, Immortal Shield Bow. So with the amount of Mythics that you could pick for him, I can't really recommend which one is best. But Hellbreaker is kind of needed by him because he's kind of slow with objectives and stuff Otherwise with Hellbreaker he can push those towers. He can even split push kind of well, but without it He's pretty slow with objectives. I think play style WQ that's basically what I have to say because that makes him such an annoying top laner And it also weakens the enemy champion and sometimes you can just do that WQ until they are weak enough, then you can go in on them and maybe use your E. And because he's so naturally tanky, you're not risking much when you W and Q. Like, even against heroes that have a high amount of attack, you're really not risking much when you go in W and Q and then just back away. So that's what I'd say. Basically, W, Q them until they get low enough that you can actually go in. Now, when it comes to who he's bad against, I haven't seen any hero yet that Alistar cannot hold his own against. And I've gone up against Urgots, Nasuses, now, I've never gone up against Chindamir with him, but all the heroes I've gone up against him, he can basically hold his own against. Yes, Teemo, I probably wouldn't recommend, but other than that, basically, he can hold his own against any hero. And there are actually two heroes that Alistar at least semi-counters. There's Kale and Mord. With Kale, Alistar basically fully counters Kale. I, the, the two Kales I fought against... I basically dominated them in, in the laning phase because Kale's strategy is usually to, you know, keep a melee champion back. But with Alistar's WQ combo, that's very hard for her. So with Kale, especially at the beginning, before she becomes ranged, you can kind of take advantage if you play Alistar top. And with Mord, the reason why Alistar top is so good is because Alistar's ult actually cancels out Mord's ult. I didn't even know that until by God's blessing one time, I was fighting a Mord, he ulted me, I ulted, and I was just like, wait, I'm out of the ult? So yeah, if you wait until after Mord ults, you ult, it cancels out his ult as an Alistar, and that gives you a really good advantage. So, let's summarize. Number one, runes. Tanky fighter, basically. Number two, items. Really just Hullbreaker is necessary, I believe. Number three, playstyle. WQ combo until you can go in. That's basically how I would play him. The one downside is that he's not the best at getting minions. You know, he's not the best at last hitting. But if you eventually get Titanic Hydra, balance that a bit. Because with Titanic Hydra, you can get a lot of minions by just attacking one, obviously. But that's how I would play Alistar Top. Have you guys tried this? Would you guys try this? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Remember to like, share, and subscribe, and may God bless you all.